The monster. Out of the pit came a thing of horror searching for human prey. Few knew the existence of this beast of terror spawned in the slime of age-old evil. But those who did know turned faint with fear at the very mention of its name. A shipping concern along the waterfront of a coastal city. Look at this headline. Those newspapers will do anything for circulation. They sure will. Look at that scarehead. City terrified, maniac killer still free. I'm too tired to worry about things like that. I'm heading home in bed. I've had a hard day. You had better be careful, Joe. The killer is supposed to hang around the waterfront. He'll be coming after you. Huh. If I see that lunatic, I'll take him with one hand. Good night, Sam. Good night. See you tomorrow. Outside the office, Joe picks his way across the dank, fog-filled doom that engulfs the waterfront. Purr, it's a nasty night. The dampness creeps right into my bones. Seconds later, a thing of horror leaps from the darkness. From it comes the putrid smell of death. I'll be glad when I get home and... Oh! Help! Help! Oh! As Joe's cries weaken, a pure guard runs up. Somebody's in trouble! There they are! Oh, help! Oh! What the... I must have hit him! The fog is ruining my aim! No! No! Don't go after it! It... It will destroy... You... The mark of the called! It's impossible! It can't be! Not here in America! When the police and reporters arrive. What's your name? What happened here? My name is Leo Pashenko. I'm the guard at this pier. You won't believe me when I tell you about it. This man was killed by a called. A terror from out of hell itself. When I was a child, I lived in Serbia. I often heard of such monsters. Now take it easy. This has been a little too much for you. No, you must listen. These beasts assume human shapes to get the blood necessary to keep them alive like the vampire. Okay, okay. Maybe you'd better go home and get a little rest. I'll talk with you tomorrow. If you will only listen, this monster must be destroyed before he kills any others. I alone know how to do it. I know how. Sure, sure. Now go on home and don't bother me. I'll see you in the morning. You'll be fine by then. As Petschenko makes his way through the darkened streets. I was a fool to speak. I should have known they would never believe. Ah! Don't be alarmed. I'm one of the reporters covering the murder. I heard your story and I'd like to talk to you. Phew, you nearly scared me to death. What do you want? I couldn't say anything back there, but I believe what you told them. I too come from Serbian parents. I have heard of the called. Then you know the danger that exists as long as it roams loose. I'm going to send it back to the darkness that spawned it. I want to help you. Good, we will go to my rooms. There we can prepare charms such as my mother made to protect the wearer from evil. Then we will be ready to destroy this beast of horror. At Pashenko's house, they prepare the charms and the next move of their daring task. With these charms, it will not be able to harm us. Now we must find the grave of the victim who perished the other night. That's easy. I have been covering the story since this reign of terror began. I have a list of all the victims and where they were buried. That is good. We will start at once, but first we must stop for spades and a lamp at the dock. All right, but let's not underestimate the power of the called. It is deadly. As the bells toll midnight, the two reach the cemetery where the called last victim lies. Quick, over the wall. If we are seen, all is lost. I'm coming. As they steal through the shrubbery, they are heard. The watchman, get down. Shh, he has heard us. If we are going to accomplish what we set out to do, we must get him out of the way. But how? Like this. Ugh. Stop, stop, you're killing him. Ugh. Are you crazy? Let go of him. Now he will be quiet. Now he cannot disturb us. Easy, this thing is beginning to get you. Calm down. When the reporter finally regains his self-control, he'll be all right. I guess I lost my head. Let's go find the grave. All right, come on. Cautiously, they search for the grave. At last, this looks like it. Yes, this is the grave. Give me the spade. Here, when you're tired, I'll take over. Okay, the faster we work, the sooner we're done. An hour later, I'm beat. How about you taking a turn? Okay, hop out and I'll dig for a while. When they change places, you did well, another foot or so and we'll have reached the coffin. Yes, the coffin. 
We're almost done. Working desperately, Pashchenko finally uncovers the coffin. I've uncovered it. Open it, hurry. Another moment and it is open. Throw down the charm we have prepared. At last, at last. Didn't you hear me? Throw it down. I heard you, but I won't throw it down. Then, as Pashchenko watches, the reporter changes before his eyes into a repulsive thing of evil and terror. The called! You are the called! Yes, the called! You! You can't touch me! I am protected by the charm! Fool! Your charm will not work. I left one thing out. The one thing that would have saved you. Now you will die like the others and my secret dies with you! Help! Help! Ah! <laughs> ah! The next day, they found Pashenko in the open grave, a look of awful terror frozen on his face. It's the work of that maniac, all right. Perhaps he did know something. We'll never know until the murderer is caught. But who will catch him? Who is there that knows the truth? And who will be the called's next victim? You? You?